Henry Louis Vivian de Rosio, the 18th of April 1809 to the 26th of December 1831, was an Indian poet and assistant headmaster of Hindu College, Kolkata, a radical thinker and one of the first Indian educators to disseminate western learning and science among the young men of Bengal. At the age of 17, he was considered a great scholar and a thinker. Long after de Rosio's death by cholera, his influence lived on among his former students, who came to be known as Young Bengal and many of whom became prominent in social reform, law, and journalism. <laughs> Early life Henry Louis Vivian de Rosio was born on 18 April 1809 at Entali Padmapukur in Kolkata. His father was Francis de Rosio. His original family name was de Rosario. He attended David Drummond's Dharamtala Academy School, where he was a pupil from the age of 8 to 14. He quit school at the age of 14 and initially joined his father's concern at Kolkata and later shifted to Bagalpur. Inspired by the scenic beauty of the banks of the river Ganges, he started writing poetry. This was the time when Hindu society in Bengal was undergoing considerable turmoil. In 1828, Raja Ram Mohan Roy established the Brahmo Samaj, which kept Hindu ideals but denied idolatry. This resulted in a backlash within Orthodox Hindu society. It is in the perspective of these changes that de Rosio was appointed at Hindu College, where he helped release the ideas for social change already in the air. At 17 years of age, he was considered a great scholar and a thinker. Within a short period of time, he drew around him a group of intelligent boys in college. At the age of 18, he got the post of a lecturer in English literature and history at the Hindu college. He constantly encouraged them to think freely, to question and not to accept anything blindly. His teachings inspired the development of the spirit of liberty, equality, and freedom. They also tried to remove social evils, improve the condition of the women and the peasants, and promote liberty through freedom of the press, trial by jury, and so on. His activities brought about the intellectual revolution in Bengal. It was called the Young Bengal Movement and his students, also known as Derosians, were fiery patriots. <laughs> <laughs> Hindu college and social backlash In May 1826, at the age of 17, he was appointed teacher in English literature and history at the new Hindu college. De Rosio's intense zeal for teaching and his interactions with students created a sensation at Hindu college. His students came to be known as De Rosians. He organized debates where ideas and social norms were freely debated. In 1828, he motivated them to form a literary and debating club called the Academic Association. <laughs> Expulsion Due to his unorthodox legendarily free views on society, culture and religion, the Hindu-dominated management committee of the college, under the chairmanship of Radhakanta Deb, expelled him as a faculty member by a six-to-one vote, for having materially injured the students' morals and introduced some strange system the tendency of which is destruction to their moral character and to the peace in society. In consequence of his misunderstanding no less than 25 pupils of respectable families have been withdrawn from the college. Literary works De Rosio was generally considered an Anglo-Indian, being of mixed Portuguese descent, but he was fired by a patriotic spirit for his native Bengal, and considered himself Indian. De Rosio was perhaps the first nationalist poet of modern India. In his poem to India, My Native Land, Amara Esbadasapum Bharatara Prati he wrote, De Rosio wrote many wonderful poems in English before his untimely death of which, The Fakir of Jangira, was one of the most important. His poems are regarded as an important landmark in the history of patriotic poetry in India. Influence His ideas had a profound influence on the social movement that came to be known as the Bengal Renaissance in early 19th century Bengal. 
and despite being viewed as something of an iconoclast by others like Alexander Duff and other largely evangelical Christian missionaries, later in Duff's Assembly's institution, Derosio's ideas on the acceptance of the rational spirit were accepted partly as long as they were not in conflict with basic tenets of Christianity, and as long as they critiqued Orthodox Hinduism. Derosio was an atheist but his ideas are generally believed to be partly responsible for the conversion of upper caste Hindus like Krishna Mohan Banerjee and Lal Bihari Day to Christianity. Samarin Roy, however, states that only three Hindu pupils among his first group of students became Christians, and asserts that Derosio had no role to play in their change of faith. He points out that Derosio dismissal was sought by both Hindus such as Ramkamal Sen, as well as Christians such as H. H. Wilson. Many other students like Tarachand Chakraborty Sir became leaders in the Brahmo Samaj. A commemorative postage stamp on him was issued on 15 December 2009. <laughs> Death Derosio died at an early age of 22 on 26 December 1831 in Calcutta due to cholera. His body was buried in South Park Cemetery of Kolkata. See also Young Bengal To India, my native land